So now, if you need to install an expansion, let's do that now. Let's close here. Close the disk content. Let's eject the disk again. And we're going to be installing the Sims 2 University expansion. Just to show you how it's done. Notice that I haven't started up my Sims 2 yet. I'm going to install all my expansions first. Once the disk comes up on my desktop, double click it, and the disk content will show up. Now, the difference between the expansions and the original game is that the expansions have installers in them. They're not drag and drop, so I'm not going to drag this anywhere. What I'm going to do is double click it. It'll bring up the Sims 2 University installer. They all look pretty similar. So all I do is click continue. This will show me some information on the game, but let's go ahead and click continue. The license agreement. You can read through it carefully when you're doing this. But I'm going to click continue right now. Make sure you agree to this. You're going to select the hard drive where you're going to put it in. Make sure that you're putting it into your Macintosh HD, your main hard drive. Okay. And click continue. Now, all that's left to do is click install. Here you're going to put your own personal password for your computer. Okay. And there we go. The installation begins. So when the installer is done, it should look like this. Software was successfully installed. If it doesn't say anything like this, then you should probably give us a call at that point. Let's go ahead and close this installer. Close this right here. And now we have the Sims 2 and University installed. Now, just so you know, let's go into the Macintosh HD just to show you this. All of our expansion packs add content to the main game. So you'll notice how the icons now change to the university one. There is no normal, just regular old Sims 2 icon anymore. Because it has university content in it, but it also has the original Sims 2 content inside. And this will be true for any expansion. You're obviously going to go installing from the oldest to the most recently released expansion and that's the icon that's going to take over but that doesn't mean that it's overriding the uh, content from the other expansions you just get extra and it's all going to be in that one sims 2 program